Hey there. Hey, good morning. Good Friday morning. It is Allison Buckland here, and it is Fizzy Friday with Allison. So thanks for joining me. And you're probably wondering what these things under my eyes are. I'll get to that in a second. But I am drinking my fizz stick in my favorite way, really. The first thing I do when I get up in the morning is I'll brew some detox tea, and then I'll add in my fizz stick to it. So I'm sipping on that. But I got this really great new mug, and it's a great reminder. So do more of what makes you happy. And so that's kind of my point for today and what I want to talk about. You know, time for play, for taking time for yourself. I know we all lead very busy lives and we are balancing uh, multiple things, job and family and spouse and work and play and business and all the things that we have on our plate and that gets overwhelming but it's a reminder to take time for yourself to do what makes you happy so that's one reminder for today and then i also want to talk about the power of intention so when you have a goal that you want to accomplish for example starting a healthy living plan losing weight Maybe finding a new job that you want. Um, for me, I have an intention of having another baby. And so what happens when you make and have an intention and you are intentional about what you want? So the first thing is to recognize and go for what you want. What it is what is it that you want? What is your goal? The second thing is you need a plan. So whether if that's a healthy lifestyle plan, certainly our bond 30 will get you there. But if it is finding a new job, maybe taking a look some companies that you'd want to work for, hopping on LinkedIn, finding out what's out there and taking a look and seeing what your purpose is. So you need a plan. The second thing is that you need to step out of your comfort zone and take inspired action. So inspired action means visualization. That's a huge piece of an intention. So picturing yourself meeting your goal, what you want in your life. For example, the new job that you might want. What does it look like for you? What does your day look like? How do you feel during the day? That's your intention, and that is picturing and visualization. So for me, visualization of having another baby is, you know, thinking about how that's going to feel, picturing myself pregnant, and thinking about and invoking those feelings of what it's going to be like. And so when you do that, when you visualize what your goal is and you take inspired action, you can all think about what that's going to be for me to get, <laughs> to get pregnant, but you take that inspired action towards your goal. So intention, visualization, inspired action, and do it. Do more of what makes you happy. We only have one life. so. What are these awesome things? So these are my amazing Arbonne gel eye masks. So they come in this little container here, 60 of them. So I put these on in the morning after I wash my face. It's a way to feel refreshed, like you've had eight hours of sleep, but you really haven't. You know, as busy working moms, who has eight hours of sleep? It is important, and you should make an intention and every effort to get the proper amount of sleep that you need and if you aren't you need to get on Arbon 30 and you need to get some of these re9 prep work gel eye masks to make you feel refreshed like you just you know woke up after a restful night's sleep and they tighten they feel so good so anyway happy fizzy friday with allison have a blessed day everybody enjoy your weekend take and set intentions do more of what makes you happy too Take care. Have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.